Tesla Optimus is expected to be sold at an affordable price by the end of this year. The estimated price will be much lower than that of a car. I predict it could be under $20,000, Musk emphasized when discussing the cost to own a Tesla robot. However, there's an undeniable truth that Elon Musk has rarely been consistent in delivering on his promises, particularly regarding the pricing of new products. That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. And welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 4,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. What is the official price of Tesla Optimus 2025? For humanoid robots on the global market, prices generally range from $30,000 to $300,000, depending on the manufacturer. For instance, Boston Dynamics Atlas robot costs around $150,000, while the more affordable Kepler Forerunner robot is priced at $30,000, showing a wide variety of options. However, the most shocking price point ultimately belongs to Tesla's Optimus robot, as a humanoid robot that we believe represents significant breakthroughs, it was astonishing when Musk suggested it could be sold for under $20,000. The reality is that alongside the functionality Optimus can provide, affordability plays a crucial role. If the price is too high, Optimus will be accessible only to wealthy customers rather than those with lower disposable incomes, contradicting Elon Musk's claims about Optimus's attractive pricing which could enable you to own not just one, but two robots. However, fundamentally, the demand for Tesla robots significantly depends on their price. Let's first explore some potential price ranges, setting a base price of $15,000 to $100,000 per Tesla robot. This range allows us to evaluate which price points could truly make it a substantial demand in the market. Because Musk mentioned that it could be priced under $20,000, if a Tesla robot were sold for $15,000 and could perform all the manual tasks that humans can do, perhaps even more, most people would likely purchase one. At that point, billions of robots could be sold. Naturally, this would be the price point everyone hopes for. Conversely, if a Tesla robot were priced at around $80,000 to $100,000, but could do little beyond moving, observing, and exploring its environment, the total addressable market would shrink significantly to just a few million units. With these capabilities, it would primarily be wealthy individuals purchasing the robots to enhance their leisurely lifestyles. On the other hand, if Tesla's robot were priced at $80,000 but, in return, Optimus could perform everything humans can do, and even better, then, by all means, even if the price deviates from Musk's proposed $20,000, the total addressable market could still reach hundreds of millions of units sold annually. This is because companies are already spending similar amounts annually on human labor, and a one-time purchase of the bot would allow for significant labor cost savings in the long run. Certainly, this can already be observed with the Cybertruck. Its price has increased by more than 50% compared to earlier estimates, yet demand remains high, proving that price may not be the deciding factor if the product delivers high quality. Based on the simulated pricing alongside the features of Tesla's Optimus that we've reviewed, it's clear that Tesla's success in selling Optimus hinges on the quality and efficiency the robot can provide. Naturally, it won't be limited to the role of a worker in Tesla factory, as Musk has mentioned plans to develop additional features for Optimus as a homemaker. While we don't yet know the full extent of Optimus's capabilities, it has already demonstrated some impressive tasks in less than two years since its introduction. Of course, it's undeniable that price increases could affect customers, as many might feel disappointed if it exceeds their expectations. How useful is the Tesla Optimus in the real world? To evaluate its efficiency, let us review some technical specifications of Optimus. Equipped with an integrated Tesla AI chip, it represents not only a breakthrough in size, but also in the integration of advanced artificial intelligence, as well as its highly praised self-learning and adaptability capabilities. Optimus's independent electric drive system, designed with Tesla's unique architecture, 
has been repeatedly highlighted by Musk as the most advanced technology in the world. In its second generation update, Optimus achieved 11 degrees of freedom in its arms and 2 degrees of freedom in its neck, delivering remarkable flexibility and precision. It can effortlessly hold and arrange a boiled egg on a tray, showcasing its impressive capabilities. Optimus's observation system is equipped with eight small cameras and radar sensors, enabling it to monitor its surroundings with a 360-degree field of view, particularly in complex environments such as Tesla's factory layouts. Its voice recognition ears and microphones, combined with integrated speakers, provide the ability to communicate and interact with its surroundings. At the We Robot event, we witnessed Optimus communicating with everyone present. This highlighted its impressive compatibility with all languages worldwide. Although in reality, Optimus was controlled by Tesla employees during the event, implementing voice functionality for the robot is remarkably straightforward. Beyond its applications in Tesla's factories, Optimus emerges as a personal device, more accurately described as a household assistant. It can handle all your domestic tasks effortlessly, day and night. Fully customizable to meet your needs, it can perform everything from cleaning to complex tasks. Tesla's Optimus can significantly enhance value by taking on responsibilities such as cleaning and organizing the house, cooking, doing laundry, and tending to the garden. Moreover, Optimus can operate in extreme conditions unsuitable for humans, such as high temperature environments or areas requiring ultra high precision, thereby expanding business operational capabilities. Tesla's Optimus robot also offers advantages in management and overall costs compared to human labor. To successfully make an affordable electric vehicle, Tesla still needs a battery that is both stable and significantly cheaper than the conventional lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are considered to be more expensive. Spencer Gore believes that sodium ion batteries will outperform lithium iron phosphate, which is currently the least expensive type of lithium ion battery on the market. Why is this sodium ion battery the best choice for a $25,000 EV? Currently, it is common for electric vehicles to achieve a range of 300 miles on a full charge. However, automakers are struggling with the high cost of batteries. Sodium ion batteries are less expensive because sodium is more abundant and accessible than lithium. The shift in battery chemistry also helps eliminate some other costly materials. Sodium itself can be sourced from a relatively inexpensive mineral called trona, which is abundant in places like California and Wyoming, providing U.S. automakers with easier access to domestic supply chains. Over the past few decades, the battery industry has seen a range of new technologies developed alongside lithium batteries. Among these, sodium ion batteries stand out as one of the most promising advancements, with a 40% improvement in energy density. This improvement demonstrates a faster rate of progress compared to any other battery technology globally. As the cost of lithium batteries remains high due to the enormous demand in the electric vehicle industry, sodium ion batteries are increasingly being adopted by electric vehicle manufacturers as a viable alternative. This shift aims to address the challenge of reducing the production costs of affordable vehicles. During the 2020 earnings call, Elon Musk emphasized the importance of achieving a 300-mile range for electric vehicles within the U.S. network, suggesting that longer ranges might become unnecessary. In early 2024, Tesla announced the cancellation of its plan to produce a low-cost vehicle to prioritize the development of the RoboTaxi, a vehicle without a steering wheel. This decision sparked some criticism and disappointment among fans. Shortly thereafter, Elon Musk hinted at the possibility of reviving the $25,000 vehicle plan, with sodium ion batteries likely to be a key component in this new initiative. Electric vehicle batteries remain one of the most expensive components, making them a major focus for manufacturers. Currently, the material cost for a sodium ion cell is approximately one-third less than that of an equivalent lithium ion cell. This cost advantage positions sodium ion batteries as a compelling choice for the future of affordable electric vehicles. The current cost of sodium ion batteries is estimated at around $40 per kilowatt hour, which is significantly lower than the average $120 per kilowatt hour for lithium ion batteries. This price difference reflects not only a disparity in costs but also in resource availability. Sodium, the primary element in sodium ion batteries, 
is found on Earth 500 to 1,000 times more abundantly than lithium, the element used in lithium-ion batteries. This means that extracting sodium may place less strain on resources compared to lithium extraction. Furthermore, the extraction process for sodium typically has less environmental impact and is less harmful to land compared to lithium mining, helping to minimize negative effects on ecosystems. These factors contribute not only to reducing battery production costs, but also to promoting sustainability and environmental protection within the energy storage industry. Achieving a 300-mile range with sodium-ion batteries is not an easy task, but according to Spencer, recent advancements in his battery technology have significantly boosted the performance and energy density of sodium-ion batteries. One notable feature is the charging speed of sodium-ion batteries, which is up to 10 times faster than that of lithium-ion batteries. Sodium-ion batteries can be fully charged in just 5 to 15 minutes, compensating for their lower energy density compared to lithium-ion batteries. Although sodium-ion batteries might offer a shorter driving range, their rapid charging capability provides a substantial advantage. You can quickly recharge a sodium-ion battery in a fraction of the time required for a lithium-ion battery, which typically takes nearly an hour to fully charge. This rapid charging not only saves time, but also enhances convenience for users, making it a significant benefit over traditional lithium-ion batteries. Additionally, recent research by Spencer indicates that sodium-ion batteries maintain approximately 80% of their capacity after 4,000 to 5,000 charge cycles. This demonstrates a high level of stability and durability for this type of battery. Furthermore, Research suggests that sodium-ion batteries could achieve up to 50,000 charge cycles, highlighting their potential as a long-lasting and resilient battery solution for the future. The combination of rapid charging and extended lifespan makes sodium-ion batteries an attractive option in the energy and electric vehicle industries, promising to enhance user experience and drive sustainable development in energy storage technology. How safe are sodium-ion batteries? Currently, most users are eager to switch to electric vehicles, but they still harbor concerns about the costs and safety associated with lithium-ion batteries. While fires and explosions related to lithium batteries are rare, they are not impossible. One reason for this risk is the flammable electrolyte inside these batteries, which transports lithium ions between the electrodes during charging and discharging. Batteries generate heat during operation. If there's a puncture or defect in the battery, it can heat up rapidly. At temperatures above 140 degree F, the solvent molecules in the electrolytes start to evaporate, transitioning from liquid to gas and causing the battery to swell like a balloon until the gas ignites and the entire battery catches fire. Sodium ion batteries offer significantly improved safety compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. Sodium is much less chemically reactive than lithium, and the abundant salt added acts as anchors for the solvent molecules preventing them from evaporating and igniting. This reduces the risk of thermal runaway or fire hazards associated with lithium-ion batteries. A standout feature of the sodium-ion batteries developed by Spencer is their excellent performance even in cold temperatures. Compared to lithium-ion batteries, sodium-ion batteries exhibit superior performance when operating in low temperatures. They not only maintain stable performance but also offer safer and more efficient charging in freezing conditions. Specifically, the capacity retention rate of sodium ion batteries at minus 20 degrees Celsius remains above 88%, which is impressive compared to the capacity retention rate of lithium iron phosphate batteries, which falls below 70% under the same conditions. This not only enhances the reliability of sodium ion batteries in harsh weather conditions, but also provides a safer solution for applications that require continuous and efficient operation in cold environments. How is the development of sodium batteries in the United States market? In the competitive landscape that compels manufacturers to continually introduce affordable vehicle models, sodium ion batteries offer significant advantages. Sodium-based batteries have access to nearly limitless material resources. The United States alone holds approximately 90% of the world's known soda ash reserves. Several companies are capitalizing on this technology trend. For instance, Natron Energy is set to build a gigawatt-scale sodium-ion battery manufacturing facility in the U.S., with plans to invest nearly $1.4 billion in the plant, partially supported by North Carolina's Job Development Investment Grant. 
Spencer Gore, CEO of the startup Bedrock Materials, has announced a $8.5 million seed funding round aimed at developing sodium ion batteries for Tesla's electric vehicles. Furthermore, in China, which is leading in research and production of the type of battery, sodium ion production capacity is projected to see a remarkable increase from 42 gigawatt hour per year in 2023 to 186 gigawatt hour per year by 2030. This expansion not only reflects the rapid advancement of the technology, but also highlights the significant potential of sodium ion batteries to meet future energy demands. What do you think about the replacement of sodium batteries in the future? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this, join Techno Creator by subscribing, and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.